I am here this evening to talk about the mannerism of a man that is in a public office that call himself always reminding us that he's the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. And that is how you speak to your journalists. You said that the people in, the, in Trinidad and Tobago have a right to question the people in public offices because they are there working for us and we need to ask them questions and get answers. The way in which you treat that journalist, Mr. Rowley, it was very unbecoming and your mannerism is getting worse. Every time you go out and come back, your mannerism gets worse towards the citizens of the country. And in case you didn't realize, that was a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago that you were going on so with. And then you wants to go up for election and, and get re-elected with that kind of mannerism that you have there. You had to be a madman. You had to be crazy. We had to go right back to work. Sparrow sing about education. Because I don't know what's going on with you. Every time you go and come, you get more angry. You get more hate in you. You get more animosity in you. That is what Manning told us. And you get you seen it every day. Why did you behave like that? And then you're saying, you are the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. And you do it with dignity. Which dignity? When you, where was your dignity when you was embarrassing that journalist? You had a dignity there? When were you, when you were embarrassing that journalist, were you showing dignity then as a prime minister? You and your cabinet need to be removed out of this country. You all are very distasteful, dis, disrespectful, and your mannerism is getting worse. You can't tell me you stay out in California to get a medical checkup, as you say. And when you come back here, I don't know what check they check you, but they should have checked your brain. Because you're going mad. The mannerism in which you have there, that is nobody that went to do not medical. It's time you start to talk the truth and stop telling lie. God don't like lie. God does not like lies. Satan is the master of lies and like you join him. Do not do these things to the citizens of the country. When you behave in this manner, you want to go up and say all sorts of things about the opposition leader, which nobody never see her in them kind of behavior there. They never see her behave like that. And look at how you behaving and you have people adoring you as the God of the country. People of Trinidad and Tobago, let me tell you something. If we don't learn to accept things and say when something wrong, call a spade a spade, God is going to deal with us. This man is way out of order, way out of order. He's gone clear now. And you cannot sit down in a corner and join me the brotherhood of wrongdoers and say that what he did was correct. What he did was most distasteful, and that is why we have so much a delinquency in the country and crime. 